Hey, I'm Isaac Shana Johnson. I'm a musician and I make videos about music, music production, music composition on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to see videos like this in the future. I wanted to make a quick video talking about how to edit choral vocals recorded separately. Specifically, I'm gonna be talking about some stuff that my students recorded and most of the equipment was just a laptop microphone and minimal amounts of equipment. Normally a choir you record with a couple microphones and you hear all these people singing all together. So you have a stereo image already. In this case you have maybe a whole bunch of stereo tracks but all of them are panned center rather than actually having a stereo wider stereo image. First thing I do is line everything up, cut out the excess noise, all that stuff, clean it up a little bit. If you hear any places in the recording because it's been recorded with less than stellar conditions. Maybe there's somebody in the background, you hear some footsteps or somebody closes the door pretty loudly and you have to edit that out. In Pro Tools, I'll route everything to a single bus or a single aux input track and then I'll create a group so I can adjust all the faders all at once. If you have 15 different tracks of people singing, you only really need five for it to sound like a pretty decent choir. Everything else is kind of just more voices to beef it up a little bit, right? If you have five good singers, five really strong singers, and then five that are uh, they're decent, and then five that aren't great, it'll still sound pretty good, and it'll sound like a pretty good big group if you edit it properly. I'll use that to mix it. I'll make sure that the loudest ones are the ones that are outstanding, the best takes and then the ones that aren't too good are a little quieter so you could still hear them a tiny bit they'll add a little bit to the noise and make it a little bigger but it won't really take away from the sound the fact that they're maybe didn't put in as much effort as some other people in their recordings i recently just edited one for hail holy queen the sister act version it's a great song. I highly recommend you go check it out. It is so fun. So the solos were to one bus, the top line were to one bus, the bottom line were to a different bus, and then the claps were all to a different bus. So on those buses, that's where I'll add EQ, compression, and reverb. Okay, here is where we get to then make it really sound choral. So I'll pan everything left, right, center. Another thing I like to think about is trying to keep each different section more than five people or around three to five people. So if you have, let's say 15 singers, like I did with Hail Holy Queen, each line had 15 people. So I did hard right, slightly right, middle, slightly left, hard left. And each of those things gets three singers. So right there, it sounds pretty choral and it sounds like a pretty big choir. So you're kind of dividing it into a like stereo field that you're trying to imagine, right? Where would you place them if you had them in a room? I use two reverb sends. One is a convolution reverb to make it sound like it's in a specific space, and the other is an algorithmic reverb to make it sound a little bigger. I'll use reverbs on aux tracks so that I can send everything to that same reverb. I'll send the first reverb, the convolution reverb, to the algorithmic reverb. And what that does is the algorithmic reverb gets everything and it is the biggest. I'll add EQ and compression. I'm not really using anything fancy. I mostly use the compression to control and tame the sounds, bring them together a little bit. I don't really go much over a ratio of four or five to one. I, I try and keep it even less than that. And then for EQ, what I've been doing is cutting off the high frequencies with a filter and cutting off the low frequencies. And then I'll add a de -er because, oh boy, MacBook and webcam microphones pick up a whole lot of sibilance like none other. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something about music. I hope you found it useful. Remember to subscribe and thank you for watching. See you next time. Peace.